Hey, Close Fam. So we're gonna go over a little bit of information about the pump and gauge system of your inflatable paddleboard today. First, I wanna start out with this thing. This comes in your kit and a lot of people have asked us, what do we do with it? What is it for? Well, first of all, it's not to actually deflate your board. You actually don't need to use this ever unless you notice that your valve is getting a little loose up here and coming apart from the actual board itself. If that's the case, it's just a simple turn with the wrench to tighten it up again. So now I want to go over the actual valve system that comes with your inflatable paddle board. This is really important, so pay close attention to what I'm going to say next. In the actual valve system, there's a little yellow button. This button needs to be up when it's holding the PSI. When you want to deflate your paddleboard, all you have to do is press down and turn and it'll release the air. Okay, so what's really important to remember is that yellow valve release. When it's down and to the right, that means you're releasing air out of this inflatable sub. But when it's up and to the left, when it's springy, that means it's gonna actually hold the PSI. So when you're pumping, make sure that the little valve release is up. That way the air will go into the board and stay in the board. Now that we have the valve system out of the way, it's time to talk about the pump. The pump comes in two pieces when you get it in the kit. It comes with this hose and it also comes with a single chamber pump. At the top, you're gonna to notice what we call the gauge. This is how you actually read the PSI of the board itself. So it's really important that when you get the two pieces, they come like this. Make sure that the rings are connected, just like a washer, and that you put it on super, super tight. Because when you're pumping this thing, you don't want air leaking out of here. That should be going in your board. So now you have the two pieces of the pump ready to go. It's time to start pumping up your inflatable board. But I wanna make a quick note and explain something to you about the PSI. The gauge on top of your PSI isn't actually gonna read anything until this board is almost inflated because it hasn't had enough resistance per square inch yet. So you're not gonna get a read on this baby until about five or seven PSI. Just make note of that. So if you don't believe me and you wanna do a quick little test just to make sure your valve is actually working, I have a little troubleshooting trick for you. All right, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the hose. And voila. Then you're going to take your hand and you're actually going to cover this hole and pump at the same time. What you're going to want to see is the valve move. See how the gauge is going up? That's how you know you've actually got pressure and PSI. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to actually attach the end of your hose of the pump to the actual valve system. So what you're going to want to do is open up your valve system and notice how this valve lid and the pump actually have the exact same rings. This is how you attach the hose nozzle to the actual valve system and give it a good turn and you're good to go. So that brings us to the conclusion of the pump and valve lesson. If you have any questions or any troubleshooting questions, don't hesitate to shoot us a line or send us an Instagram message. We're always around to answer any questions you might have. See you on the water.